So this is an example of a package blueprint. Let's open one of the A3 blueprints. And everything is made with SketchUp and Layout. Let's see over here. Since these are seven sets, not everything can fit on this A3 plastic holder. This is the A3 plastic holder, but if you try to open it, seven sets of blueprints cannot fit. So we will use this as the backing board. Let's check architectural first. A1, next page. It's the left side unit. Now for La Trinidad, we need an extra copy of the perspective and site development, that's why. And let's go to page A2, which we can see on the right side, and then A3. So A stands for architectural, which means the whole building design or whatever you see, including the layout, finishing, materials and specs, as well as dimensions. So we have floor plans here made in SketchUp. Let's check A4. We have a QR code to easily check the soft copy or Google Drive. This looks like a cartoon, but it's nice to see the color so that the painter can also see the elevation. Next is A5, more of the section, especially if you're doing the structural. All sections should be showing the stairs. It's better to show the circulation here. This is the symbol for earth fill. Next page. A6 is more of our door and window schedule. So the things we cannot see in the floor plan and the elevation is blue, blown up here. So we can see what kind of windows and doors for the fabricator and also the finishing of the stairs. And then the last page will be reflected ceiling plan, which I added a finishing floor plan inspired by VBO. Why? Because this will help the tile setter see the location and color of the tile. So it's like an introduction to interior architectural interior design. Because the other floor plan, if we compare them side by side, which is page A3, is more of the dimension. See dimension, floor plan, and finishing floor plan. It's just the same layout. But this is better for sukat sukat measurements. And then this one has the specification as well as you can add a finish schedule. You can add more with the architectural, however, since we are with blueprints permits, we will consult the structural engineer. So he can make the drafting as well, and we can input his drafting with our templates or title block in layout. Next, since this is a duplex, it's nice to show the whole duplex layout for the footing and then proceed to the spot. We have our retaining wall as well as the schedule for the reinforcement. Next, foundation plans, framing plans, and roof framing, the skeleton of the building. And then the next pages will show the schedules based on the structural analysis separated all the analysis PTR PRC so this is by the structural engineer which we reflected here in the blueprints so that the workers will focus on the blueprint this is what the workers will see and we also have our beam schedule and their sizes and reinforcements so as our roofing Letter E is the arch <laughs> electrical. This is also made with the professional electrical engineer for our lights and our power. You can separate this into a power layout and lighting layout. But since we have color code, the OBO accepts our drafting. And this is from the electrical load schedule analysis of the electrical engineer, which is here as well alongside the structural. Ta -da! Signed and sealed. Last is the letter P for plumbing. It can be done by the sanitary engineer or the master plumber. Same thing, we can put 
both lines because of our color code. If you see our floor plan is kind of faded, but still readable for our sewer line red and our water line blue, but making sure they're according to the analysis of the master plumber again, which is here Ta -da! for the septic tank and water tank. So they will determine the size of the septic tank capacity, also of the water tank, how many people live in the house, and does this need a drain field? So for us, we have this supernatant depository area in case that the municipality does not have a suitable sewer line. So what's in my bag? Aside from the analysis, we have our professional tax receipts, licenses, PTR, PRC, permit forms, clearances, and the checklist, as well as the things needed for construction. When it comes to sign and seal, three times wherever you sign is where you seal very tightly. And as well, all pages, including the cost estimates of the building and listahan ng mga materials, material specifications, or we call it technical specifications. Seal. Yeah. Kita kita dapat yan. Architect. So in the permit form, it says total estimated cost there. And you have to do the building, electrical, mechanical, electronics, plumbing based on your cost estimate. We're back in the office. I'm rearranging stuff. I like how Type-C fast charging can charge this Intel laptop at the same time the cell phone. So, we're gonna hide some cables because we have no cable management stuff. And then this printer when it's ready to use. This is from Korea, so they use round adapter plugs. And then, we have our Oh no, I don't like this. I'm not really a fan of RGB, but it's the cheapest one that came with this set. Uh, this is around like 38,000 whole set, plus 2,000 for the monitor. I don't know why I got an extra fan, maybe because I feel hot and this feels too cold. At the same time, it can generate air for the cooling. Yeah. We have some office stuff right there, pillow for my butt, some file organization, and a secret room with clothes and stuff. Don't tell anyone. And now this one, Tabinisha, because Nasira. So I just utilized that. This was since I was a student, and one of the apprentices helped paint. And just one night, just wrote down imagine motions and then did everything freehand without measuring stuff it's just plywood this one was filled with all layout before but we just painted over the wallpaper as you can my registration not yet done plus a cat cage right <laughs>